Alright, what's up guys? This is game 3 of uh, Nick vs. DMG on Koth Valley. Red team seems to have um, changed again their uh, classes. So now we got uh, Shadow of the Past on Runner again. And now May on Rockets and Blue Warrior on Heavy. Well, meanwhile, Blue team's uh, sticking with the same shit. It's been working for them, so they don't really need to change. Uh, this map, you're going to have to... Um, we're going to see a lot of rockets coming down from either this angle or this angle onto the point, just depending on whoever's on the point. Um, yeah, not much to say right here. Um, heavy right here is actually pretty good on the point, just because they can't actually. There's no other alternative to poking your head out of here. You're just going to get hit by bullets. So uh, it's pretty even terrain on both ends. So having center control is really good on this map. Um, what we might see, yeah, we actually see that right now, is an NG setting up an auto gun, yeah, right here, somewhere on this ramp. It covers around up to this jump, yeah, so it's gonna be putting in a ton of work, especially with an Uber right now. Yeah, Blue War is gonna get fucked, they might as well kill him. Oh, <laughs> he's missing bullets though, fucking intel. That was a fail uh, aiming right there, he did like 10 damage. <laughs> Alright, good right here, regrouping not jumping in too early so yeah it's a pretty good decision right here for shadow of the past except uh, this flank isn't gonna be that great because it this auto gun limits his range of movement so he's gonna have to chill right here have to jump in from up top he's gonna have to go for more um, traditional flanks I guess yeah get fucked up from a sentry right there good pick right here from rewrite Runner not going to be as useful here, because if you do want to flank, you have to drop down, and it takes quite a while for you to get back here. Heavy Rockets are almost non-negotiable classes that you have to pick on this map, just because they're such like heavy meat shields and do a lot of damage. Alright. They scurry on over to the other side, and Red Team has to take the point, which gives the Blue Team a little bit of position right here. Instead of hiding under this hill, they have to retreat back. Good Uber here from Jack Dalton. Yeah, Shadow of the Past, he switches off from Rana to NG as well. This could be interesting because I have no idea where he's going to set up his auto gun because they already have their shit set up. If he puts it on this barrel, that's okay. Except he can get taken down pretty easily from Rocket Man. I don't think this is actually a good choice for Red Team. It's only good if you already have the point and have dominant center control. I think maybe um, Pyro would be a good choice. Just reflecting rockets and uh, negating that advantage they have here is pretty good. Good stuff though, uh, Uber, able to throw down an Uber to uh, get their sentry position. They have the point now, so they'll finally start uh, counting down. That was kind of dumb. I don't know why. <laughs> that was stupid. You gotta wait for reinforcement before you try that type of shit, because if you only have one guy here and it's kind of spotty healing because of the um, this barrel right here, like, there's no other targets to shoot at, and you're just going to die super fast. Cool right there. Um, kills him with the splash damage. So red team actually has center control now, and they do have a uh, sentry back there. I'm thinking maybe he can destroy it to come back around. This isn't actually a good decision from a uh, useless soldier, though. He does way more damage um, up here with his teammate. As you can see right now, he's getting pegged down pretty hard. We got a two man uh, flank though. It's not really going to do much. Jazzy has his Uber now. Uh, Jack Dalton's about 75%. They need to just chill up here and not take too much damage. Another dumb decision from Intel. I don't know why he'd do that. That just put his medic in danger. He's going to get fucked up before he gets his Uber now. No, they let him go for free. Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright, get some back up to an Uber. If they play this right with a runner uber, he sh they should be able to uh, at least kill two, two or three people, maybe? They're gonna, it's gonna force them to do a counter uber, at least they do take out their sentry and mitigate the damage that this engine's doing. He's not really doing much right now. Nice, takes out both of them. So they played it right there, they had a um, runner heavy flank around. Should get the point back. Uh, red team's down to about minute, minute 10. Uh, well, around 40 seconds for blue team. Alright, this crate right here for overweight is really good. 
It just gives you a f nice retreat path right here anytime you're low, just to reload and whatnot, get healed up. They should be able to take out Useless Soldier, yeah. That was really dangerous for them. I think at that point, since there's no like um, heal beam location for like the medic to drop in to, to heal his rocket, he has to just stay there, play patient, wait for his heavy to come back in with covering fire and just meet, meet shielding. Alright, they're both stuck down here. Jack Dalton is kind of low right now, and Uber Race is actually looking very similar. I think they should just chill back here until they get Uber, so they can pop it on their runner. Wow, takes out their medic though, I think that's going to do it. They should be able to recap. May won't be able to save this, because they got an Uber here, he's done. So, yeah, blue team takes it. I think someone on red left. Uh... That was game 3 on Koth Valley. Nig takes it over DMG 3-0 in the uh, postponed match, which is, yeah, it's pretty good. Good stuff on um, both teams. A few um, critical decisions there. Maybe the, the NG pick wasn't that great for red team at the start. Um, they could have went like maybe more offensive based shit just to clear them out faster and have more dangerous counter Ubers with like Pyro or some shit. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Until doing the <laughs> stupid thing twice, jumping in with the suicide uh, heavy. It's never a good thing to do if you're the only one doing it. But when you did see them, uh, him and Rewrite do the uh, the flank, they were able to take a uh, heavy medic pretty fast. Just puts too much pressure on them to meet shield and shoot in both directions.